Hello, everyone. Pam. Let's see, who do I have watching today? Tell me where you're from and let's get started. Hopefully, Facebook is uh, telling all my friends where I'm at. Feel free to invite your friends to come into the broadcast and um, say hello okay let me know where you're from just type it in the chat I'd love to hear from you where are you watching from is anyone in Nassau well let's get started my name is Pam and I promote aromatherapy, essential oils, and anything to do with health, wellness, and relaxation. That's my claim to fame, yes. Health, wellness, and relaxation. Today, my heart is heavy. My heart goes out to persons affected by hurricanes. So that would be my friends in Texas, my friends in Puerto Rico, my friends in Dominica, the Florida Keys, and of course here in the Bahamas, because we too were affected by the hurricanes. Today, my heart is even heavier because of what happened in Las Vegas last night. And I can't forget Mexico, over 200 persons lost in the earthquake. But with that being said, I want them to know they're in my thoughts and prayers. So if you're watching this right now, let me know where you're from, whether you're in one of those areas I mentioned, or you're here in the Bahamas. Let me know whatever part of the world you are at right now. Just type it in the chat and I'll see that. And I'm glad you're here because I got a little bit to share with you. Hey, Katrina, welcome. By the way, if you feel like giving me a lo little love, anytime you see this word, believe, type, click on the little red heart. Just give me some hearts. Send me some love. Send me some love when you see my little stone, believe. <laughs> okay, am I holding that right? Hello, Naomi, Shannon, Rudy, Katrina. Thank you. Thank you all. So when I hold this heart up, Send me some love. Let me know you're believing. Thank you so much. Well, the reason I'm here today is I want to tell you my story. Not my political story, no. I want to tell you about what I do and why I do what I do, okay? And that is aromatherapy. Why do I... Some people say, oh, you're wasting your time. That's not selling. But that's not quite the truth. All right, the fact of the matter is I got started with aromatherapy when my mom was sick with cancer, and she eventually passed in 1994. But this is where my passion came from. She didn't want chemotherapy or radiation because as a nurse, she knew what the effects were. So she looked for herbal meds, herbal treatment, and that's what she used. And I know each of us know someone who's been affected by cancer. And Shannon, you got my full attention because I know you've been there. You've been through the treatment and you know the experience. You know the pain. You know the loss of hair. You know just what it's like. So that's where my passion came from. I wanted to do something for those cancer patients that would bring them comfort when they're convalescing at home and when they're going through what they have to go through. It's all a choice. You can do the chemotherapy and radiation, and I've seen it help people, but my mom, she chose not to. So watching her go through over a period of one year what she went through, and if you've been there, you know what it's like. I had to tell her at times, look, this um, natural remedy is cool, but... I don't like the pain that you're enjoying. Hey, Evie. Hey, Marjorie. Welcome. There's my little belief. you got to believe in yourself. When you see this, send me some hearts. Show me some love. Thank you. Thank you. So the story goes, 
I went out looking for natural remedies for my mom. And I found stuff like a tea called Pardiaco tea. That's a really good cancer fighter. I learned about other treatments, alternate treatments that they were using in um, natural clinics, such as the ones in Mexico, and, and there's another one in Texas. They don't use chemo and radiation. They use other products that are working just as good. And as we all know, all the money goes into traditional meds and none go into natural remedies, okay? That's a fact. So here's what happened. I came across essential oils. And at that time, I just looked at, okay, the pain relieving side of it. Oh, thank you, Shannon. There's a good book. We got we to gotta talk about that. There's the pain relieving side of it. There's the allergy relieving side of it. And Naomi's in here. She could attest to what it did for her sinuses. Calling me. My other friend, she can also say that she no longer have a sinus issue because she used the oils that I recommended. And by the way, all of these oils are mentioned in my new book, Top 10 Essential Oils for Health and Wellness. It's now for sale on Amazon, so you can get your copy there and you'll find out all the little tidbits. But I wanted to tell you today, this is where my passion came from. And I found out that some of these oils actually help with um, of fight cancer cells. For one, frankincense essential oil is a great cancer fighter. It's been known to help shrink tumors with persons with brain tumors and brain issues. Yes, and you got to believe, people. You got to believe. Okay? So, the other thing I wanted to tell you is this is my why. This is why I promote essential oils. This is why I sell essential oils on my website. Maybe I don't walk around with my basket saying, you want to buy this frankincense? You want to buy this essential oil? But I'm using this stuff too, okay? I have lotions. You know, we go into Bath and Body Works and we buy all the pretty scents that smell floral and we don't know what in them, but we buy them because they smell good. We love the shower gels and I'm very guilty of that too. Hello? I don't preach it to the choir. I'm not preaching to the choir, but... I've done it. I got my favorite set from Bath and Body Works that I go for every year or every now and then to stock up on. I've just been lately. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing one right now. But I say that to say this. These oils are available. They're at your fingertip. You can get them today. You can buy them online from my own natural aromatherapy store. It's there. It's there for your picking. you um, one oil may sell for $9, plus you have to pay your shipping and handling, right? And sometimes the shipping is done away with. So your small bottle of frankincense oil might just cost you $9. People, know what you're putting into your pores. Know what's going into your skin. Know what deodorants you're using. It matters, okay? I said that to say this. I'm doing this short video just to share with you my why. And I want you to tell a friend, share it out. Let people know the benefits of and uses of essential oils. In my book, it tells you exactly how to use them. But today, for all of you on this broadcast, I have something for you. It's a essential oil safety guide, and you can find it on my website, and I'm typing it in right now. All right? I want you to have it. It's not just for me to know. I want to share it with other persons who may be going through something, who may have just been diagnosed with cancer, God forbid, who may be stressed out to the max, don't know where to turn. I've got the best stress relief with essential oils. For me, it's eucalyptus and peppermint in a bath, and it is a de-stress machine. You got to check it out. Ain't no stress coming my way, my dear. When I got my essential oils going, and this is either in a bath, a diffuser, or in a topical lotion. The other thing that I do as an aromatherapist is we make blends to order. We know which oils 
uh, for what purpose? My friends tell me, oh, I have a bad sinus attack. What, what can I use? I go, my go-to oils for sinuses is essential um, eucalyptus and peppermint. That's off the top. That's my all-time favorite go-to. Most of my clients will tell you, you tell Pam you've got a sinus attack, that's what it's going to be. Most times, depending on how severe it is, right? Persons with sleeping disorders can't get to sleep. I hear a friend of mine telling me, "Oh, I'm a, I got insomnia, bad. I don't get, I get more than, I don't get more than four hours sleep a night." Blah blah blah. A room spritzer with lavender, honey, that's a different level. You go on, okay? Um, my friend's daughter, and they don't mind me sharing because. Some of them, if you look in the um, on my webpage, Oh Natural Aromatherapy, I've got testimonies there from persons who've been using these essential oils for years. Hello, Stephanie. Welcome to the broadcast. Hey, Steph. Remember my Believe Rock? Anytime you see this, I ask for a little love. Just give me a little heart so when you see this Believe. I'm believing that essential oils will help each of you in your daily journey. Deal with whatever you got. Hey, girl, what's happening? So I just wanted to share this with you today and give you my free giveaway. Today I'm giving you an essential oil guide so that you can know for yourself how to use essential oils within your own home, your environment to aid in your health and wellness issues. I don't know what it is. For me, I had knee pains. I fell. I busted up my knee. I did not want to take um, I call this medicine me, Lyrica. I did not want to take painkillers, over-the-counter drugs. No, I'm not for that. I don't know what's in that. I don't want to put anything that's not natural in my body, okay? So what I do, hey, Rosney, welcome to the broadcast. So I use essential oils, 100% organic essential oil. And my friend Stephanie, she uses Amino, Amino, um, essential oils, she cooks with those. So it's in her food. She's getting the, the nourishment. She's getting the, be the health benefits from using that. And also, as a side note, I also watch what I eat when I'm using these essential oils because I try to um, move toward an alkaline diet these days. Um, that salt, that sugar, and that, you know, some other stuff. And some of them stuff you don't even know what on the package in the processed um, foods. So I'm doing my best to try to get away from them. Cooking with essential oil like Stephanie does is all good because we know what's in those oils. It flavors the food. But I got to tell you, the type of oils that I sell at O Natural Aromatherapy, they're therapeutic grade oils. They are 100% organic. And I source them from all around the world. Right now, today, you can find them in my store, onaturalaromatherapy.com. But on October 27th, I'm revamping that store. So I should be moving to a personal brand. And of course, the book will be on my website. But for today, you can get the book on Amazon at amazon.com. And the book is 10 Top Essential Oils by Pam Gomez. Yes. I wrote my first book, I'm so proud of me, as a self-publisher, and the book is now going for $12.99, not expensive at all. In that book, you have a journal, okay? So you can make note of the recipes that work for you. That's what, hi, Larry, welcome, Larry. Yeah, oh, thank you, Stephanie. I, I, it was a task, it took several months, but I got a little support from my work and focus group that I work with and I, they pushed me to finish it and I finally finished it at the end of August and it's now on Amazon and um, it's all about believing in yourself believe that you can do it and you can and you will and that's why I am saying um, to you the purpose of this video today is to let you know my passion and my why, why I sell these essential oils, because I've seen it work in persons that I work with, my clients. I've seen persons, notice that I'm staying away from the word cured, 
okay, or healed, but I've seen them overcome and been relieved of sinus, sinusitis, muscle and joint pains, um, oh, terrible allergies. I've seen a lady who's, I mean, she's doing so well now. She says, Pam, I don't have that problem anymore. And I thank you for sharing those essential oils with me. But I just wanted to get the word out so that more persons would learn about the benefits and uses of essential oils. And um, you see my little handy dandy uh, diffuser here. This is just one of many that I have. I like elephants and my friend Janet, she does too. So, um, this is what one of my oil burners. I would put the oil in the top just to a couple drops, like two to three drops. These oils are so potent. Two to three drops in the top with some warm water, about two tablespoons of warm water. Once you put the oil in the water in, you get a tea light candle. You take a tea light, one of these, put it in here. Make sure there are no children around that you grab this down. Now, I always caution persons when using oils around children, please be careful. If you have the electric diffusers, those are so much better because they wouldn't have the fire, the little tea light candle, and also keep them out of reach of children. And the oil, two to three drops, of, depending on which oil you're using, can permeate a room of about, uh, let's say, 25 feet by 25 or thereabout, that, that is quite, quite enough. Um, when using oil in a bath, the measurements are totally different, but I share all of this information in my new book, 10 Top Essential Oils, and these are the 10 top essential oils that I used in my practice. There are other persons who use many more, but I chose 10 to write about in my book. I shared recipes, recipes for pain, recipes for insomnia, um, and a couple other things. Muscle and joint pains, um, sinus, those are just a few. But like I said, it's all about my passion. I love what I do. I love sharing the stories of essential oils. I love sharing the, the oils themselves with persons and the other day, a company watching me on social media sent me a little candy dandy gift, and I love it. And they included some of my top oils, peppermint, um, rosemary. Oh, rosemary. Let me tell you about rosemary. Rosemary is the essential oil for mental focus and stay alert. This is the oil that I use all the time when I do big meetings. Um, you know, sometimes you go to those board meetings and they're a little boring. Hello? <laughs> anybody? <laughs> Am I preaching to the choir? Does anybody know about that? Or even a classroom. Um, it keeps the person's focus and interested in what's going on in the room. So that's an oil that I would recommend for an office setting, rosemary. And, um, of course, they've got some sweet orange in here and uh, an energy booster. Man, they, they, they really fixed me right up. But guys, that's it. I just wanted to stop in for a moment to share with you a bit about my passion and why I do what I do with essential oils. My name is Pamela. My business name is O Natural Aromatherapy. That's O-H, Natural Aromatherapy. We're on Facebook and on our website. There's a store and products that we use. There are resources that we use. And don't forget, if you haven't done it yet, as yet, check out my book on Amazon, Top 10 Essential Oils for Health and Wellness. Have a good evening. Bye for now.